when someone comes in for a facial, I don't think there is anyone in their kind of wish list of what they would like to achieve who doesn't say, I would like radiance and glow, amongst all of their other kind of wish lists, but those are the two key things that crop up time and time again. So I wanted to share with you how to recreate that radiance and glow at home. Today I am purposely using some of the Rituals products to do this. Firstly, I am going to start with cleansing the face. I'm using the 3-in-1 micellar water to remove any makeup, any impurities from the skin. I'm putting some onto two cotton pads and wiping over to remove any excess makeup, freshening up, not forgetting underneath, over lips. So a nice fresh start. I'm washing with the Velvety Smooth Cleansing Foam. This is exactly what its name is. It's a delicate cleansing wash. Velvety is the perfect word for the description of this because it's not heavily foaming. I've mixed a small amount with water, massaging that all over the face. I am voiding the eye area. Neck, quite brisk with these moves. And then washing off with a clean, damp, warm cloth. This particular cloth is, there's muslin on one side and then almost like a flannel on the other, which is actually quite nice because it gives an extra level of exfoliation without using product. Nice and clean and fresh. What I'm going to do to really recreate that glow, I'm almost doing a two-step exfoliation. So I'm starting with a skin brightening face exfoliator. This is still a surface exfoliant. There are bamboo, delicate bamboo particles in this. It's a creamy texture. So I'm just spreading between palms of hands, pressing onto the skin, and you'll immediately feel how fine those particles are. So if this was within a facial, it would be a little bit like doing, I suppose, microdermabrasion with a machine. It's got that gentle effect just on the surface. So possibly not for a sensitive skin. If you're prone to coming up pink on your cheeks, you know, I just wouldn't work over that area so much. Focus on all those other parts of the face that need that brighten an extra blood boost flow. Go over the lips, sides of nose. I'm softening that with some water. Once you apply the water, it just immediately goes silky, light on the skin, inky. Thank you. So, softening up. They just slightly melt, those particles do. Using fresh damp cloth to remove excess. And you do just need to go over a few times through the brows. I find sometimes you can get little particles stuck in the brows. You may even choose just to go over with a dry cloth to make sure that's all removed. We've done that surface exfoliant. So I'm going to be using the Ritual of Namaste AHA mask. AHA means 
alpha hydroxy acid. So they're fruit acids in this. Particularly blueberry, I think that's one of the key ingredients. So a beautiful baby pink colour. It smells fruity. Fruity and floral, actually. I'm applying quite generously to the whole of my face. It's got a sticky texture. As you work it in, you'll see the pinky colour turns into a white colour. Giving it a massage around. I am going to apply a little bit more down to my neck. Covering the full area. This can stay on the skin for anything, you know, five to ten minutes. It is actually nice to take it over the lips. You know, our lips do need an exfoliation and hydrate as well. So I would then be leaving that on, nice cup of herbal tea or something, for it to do its magic and work. So I left that on for about eight to 10 minutes. There is just a slight sensation with it. Those are the AHAs doing their job of exfoliating. They kind of have that Pac-Man effect on the surface of the skin to just, I suppose, dissolve those dead skin cells that are ready to come off. This also has a blend of hydrating ingredients, so it's kind of multitasking with, with its action. Before just removing it, I personally like adding a little bit of water to soften it up. Massaging that over. I do find that that seems to almost reactivate, so there's a little bit of a, a tingle again with that action. Fresh, warm, damp top to just glide and remove. So I think you should immediately see a radiance and glow on my skin that that's created. I find this particular mask, if you've got a night out, if you've got an event to go to, it is perfect to really brighten, freshen, hydrate. What I've actually done is almost a double exfoliation. So we've got the surface exfoliation of the skin brightening exfoliator, and then we've done another different type of exfoliation with the AHA mask. So that's kind of almost clearing the way for this mask to even be more active. I'm just going to blot skin dry. And to finish my radiance and glow, I'm finishing off with one of the ampules. There are three different types of ampules to choose from. There is a glow, an ageless, and a hydration. So I'm purposely using the glow, which is all about the glow and the radiance. The ageless ones are a little bit more focusing on the wrinkles and the fine lines. So very simply, snapping that off with cotton ball, throwing that straight in the bin, I apply half to the palms of my hands, all over the face. One of those ampules really does cover a huge area. So I'm actually going to save that other half for the morning, which is quite nice. You could potentially put that other half on once this has absorbed, or maybe if you want to continue the treatment the next morning, you know, save it until so one in the evening and finish the other half in the morning. I'm going to put a tiny bit of oil over this. I'm using the Glow Radiance Oil. I don't want to apply too much oil. I'm just going to do about three or four drops of that. Warming between palms and pressing in. Just for a little bit of hydration after we've done the double exfoliation. I could have chosen a serum and a moisturiser as well, but I just wanted to keep the skin a little bit fresh and light. 
I hope you found that helpful. Um, you know, please do ask any questions below. I'm always happy to help.